Peace and to all beer friends and welcome to Beer Friend Your Support Beer Fra Adel Beer Fra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from Beer Friends, I bring you another news, another update coming from Beer Friend Prime Minister. It's a message to those if fools that call themselves out is uh, governors. Hope was a danger, solo do pitamba and the rest of them. Beer Friend Prime Minister posted a news headline with a caption I'm going to read for you. The news headline says Southeast Governor's uh, Monarchs to meet over peace project. I wonder the peace project these people are meeting for. Well, Biafran Prime Minister sent a very strong message to these safe fools claiming to be representing Southeast whilst they are representing their stomach and their families. So here, Biafran Prime Minister posted this and I'm bringing it to you. Before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. It's enable you get notification once I upload a new video don't forget to share like leave your comments at the comment section it will be nice to teach uh, these a fools a lesson on their said meeting mm? these people know very well what to do but they prefer to joke around any three any any three bit of hako any three bit of hako burning because there is much of these affiliate fools that claim to be representing southeast especially hopos or danger that have been killing our people in emo state solo dogs that have allowed the uh, criminals uh, to be killing our people in anambra state pitamba that his only problem since they assumed office is how to stop sit at home that has been pitamba's only problem since he assumed the office he has been trying to stop sit at home buying some affiliate fools uh, to Say that they meet Mazenam, the cannibal, but all the evil plans uh, keeps uh, failing. So here, the front prime minister said, breaking our attention has been drawn to a planned uh, meeting of self-acclaimed and illegitimate governors and the political appointees, uh, monarchs in South East. The meeting which is to plan uh, how to kill beer friends will never be allowed to hold in our territory. We are calling on all politically appointed monarchs who doesn't represent Biafrans to distance themselves from any gathering and especially this gathering. If you attend this gathering, go with your bag <laughs> baggages from there. Join Hopu in Abuja. Okay, so this is to uh, uh, those flefus that will run there because I uh, hope them. It seems that hope them is another another distance controlling the rest of them now. All the Kenyans hope them power now can control the rest of them. But well, that is a business, not ours. Like the former prime minister said, if any of them attend uh, that uh, gathering, they should go with their baggages and join Hopo Zodenjo in Abuja. Biafran Prime Minister, definitely they might not hold uh, such a meeting in Biafra land. The meeting isn't only on how to bring uh, the terrorists uh, down to Biafra land. Rather, they want to negotiate with Nigeria Islamic State. We must stop them. Biafra government is the only authorized, legitimate, recognized government in Biafra land. They are going to bring more useless zoo armies to Biafra land. One way, safe journey of no return. Hmm? Well, Biafran Prime Minister, Biafran Prime Minister, Mazi Simone Wanjoko of Bridgie is the good guy. And that's why he always warns people ahead of time. If your uncle, father, father-in-law is a traditional ruler in Alibu. Kindly warn him. Tell him to desist from attending any meeting or else. Sefazal is a loading for them. A word is enough for the wise. Nobody even take the so-called uh, monarch serious. They represent nobody. They don't represent us. They don't represent us. These, these governors and their monarchs intending to attend this meeting. And especially the convenance are delusion. People who like leaving the substance behind uh, to chase their uh, aftershadows. There is too basic demand for any discussion to hold. Has released Mazin Nam Dekano, withdraw all military from Biafra land. That is what we told them. Whenever these uh, flayfuls, these uh, Southeast uh, intellectuals are gathering, they are not gathering for the betterment of their people or for the safety of their people. They are gathering on how to please the Fulanese and on how to bring uh, more killers in uniform, in Nigeria army uniform, to their land to kill their people. They don't care if their people live or die. They know that the only solution is a release Mazenam the Kano, but you see hope pulls or danger running around since uh, he has been in Abuja ruling him a state. He has been in Abuja ruling him a state. These FLA fools don't represent us. They represent only their pockets and their families. And they are from Prime Minister. Send this message to them. Any of them, any traditional ruler, any mona, anybody that attend this uh, meeting, just go with your baggages and join Hopo Zodema Neza in Abuja. 
Because all these atrocities, these syphilis have sabotaged our freedom. They have killed us enough. They have rebelled us enough. Enough is enough. And I'm thinking, time I get Gina Ebito Hake Ruelang. Because they are our number one problem. Without them, the Fulanese will not have any right to come into Biafra land and do as they please. They are the reason the Fulan, they are the ones uh, running to Abuja. You will see one of the, you will see some of these uh, traditional rulers. Some of them cannot stand straight. Some of them cannot walk very well, but you see them running to Abuja. Not that they are running to Abuja for the betterment of their people or for the safety of their people or to condemn the atrocities going on in their land or condemn the marginalization of their people. You see them running to Abuja, shakily going to Abuja to sit on the floor begging the Fulanese. For what exactly? And you will say that we don't respect elders. Is it the kind of elders you respect in your, in your village? That means you people don't really have elders and you people don't really have a self uh, what also? If you people respect this kind of elders in Southeast. These uh, fools are the reason people think we don't love ourselves. These uh, fools are the reason the Fulanese uh, think they can come to Biafra land and do as they please and go unchallenged. They have been killing our people. Fulani terrorists, uh, killers in Nami uniform has been killing our people. These uh, fools that claim to be Southeast uh, representatives, governors, are there. Traditional rulers, they are there. Stakeholders, they are there without doing anything, without condemning the killings of their people, the marginalization and all the atrocities Nigeria Army, Nigeria government are committing in Biafra land. But you always see them running to Abuja. You always see them, oh, well, I met with the Excellency. Oh, well, we pleaded on the Excellency to deploy more, more soldiers to Southeast, uh, to stop insecurity, to put a stop to insecurity, to put a stop to the criminality going on. You ask yourself, what, is, what kind of criminality and insecurity is going on? Who are those? Causing insecurity in Southeast. Who are those invading communities? Who are those killing our people? Who are those destroying our properties? Nigeria Army. But these flare fools can't say anything about it. They can't condemn it. They can't tell Nigeria Army and Nigeria government the evil they are committing in Biafra land. But once it's about IPOB, you see them ranting up and down, granting interviews up and down. And you ask yourself, are these people truly from Southeast? Are they truly Igbos? Are they truly Igbo traditional rulers? Or are they truly Igbo politicians or Igbo representatives? That is why we are telling them they don't represent us. We have nothing to do with them. They represent only themselves and their families. Because anytime they run to Abuja, they are not running to Abuja to discuss about the betterment of their people, how to open all the seaports that, that, that are shut down in their land, how to open all the international airport, how to develop their land, how to bring... Infrastructures into the, but you see them ranting about IBOB, ranting about uh, uh, Simon Epa, ranting about anything good about their people. You see them sabotaging it. You see them doing everything to sabotage anything good coming to their people just to please the Fulanese. And it gets me angry when some of you gullible fellows pretending not to know that the Southeast uh, politicians, Southeast uh, traditional rulers, stakeholders, are, 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 they are our number one problem. Saying, oh, you people don't respect your elders. You, it always gets me angry. Like, you people don't know that these people are the reason the Fulanese are invading Southeast. You people pretend not to know that these flefuls claiming to be representing Southeast are the reason the Fulanese think they can come to Southeast and do as they please. They can do as they please and go unchallenged. Because of these flefuls. Some of you pretend not to know that these flavors are the reason the Nigeria army are invading Southeast. If I think or if I, if I, if I thought that these flavors still have their self-worth, self-respect and integrity, do you think that the Fulanese fear will allow Fulanese to step their foot in Southeast? They have sold themselves. That is why the Fulanese don't listen to them. You see them begging up and down or releasing Nam de Kana, using Nam de Kana as a Christmas gift. Ask Nigerian government, how did you people kidnap Nam the Kano? How, what process did you people follow? Or how did you people rendition Nam the Kano back to Nigeria? Or why did you people kidnap Nam the Kano in Kenya? They can't ask those questions because they have sold themselves. They have sold their self worth and respect. The Fulanese no longer value them. Because they are all traitors to the Fulanese. They are all betrayers of their own people. And they think that the Fulanese will love them after betraying their own people. If you can betray your own people, is there anybody that you cannot betray if you can betray your own people? Is there outsiders that you will not betray or you will not sell out? <laughs> well, betrayers are enemies of Biafra. Do not play the part of the evil because there is uh, no peace for the wicked. 
Hmm? We are calling on all political uh, appointed uh, monarchs who doesn't represent Biafrans to distance themselves from any gathering, and especially this gathering. If you are attending this gathering, go with your baggages and from there join Hopu Zodenjo in Abuja. There won't be peace until these criminals in these photos. <laughs> Liz Mans and Namde, can you see these flefus? All of them. There will not be peace for them. Hmm? How many times will they gather? For peace every time when they failed in their plans they gather another one that is what they normally do you see them talking about peace what peace are they talking about when they are the ones inviting killers in uniform into our land into be a land to kill us what peace are they gathering for hmm? well we are not begging anyone not to attend the meeting but after attending the meeting just go from there to any part of nigeria that is your choice because biafrans won't spare you at all our eyes is everywhere and our PM is watching you all from the mirror. <laughs> don't, you people don't know, right? <laughs> okay. If you don't know it yet, it's called Park and Varun for all attendees. Hmm? The Biafran people are issuing leave township notice. They should know that it will be impossible to stay in Biafra land again after declaring official stand against the Biafran. They called us Miss Grant. There is no name these flavors did not call us. <laughs> we are jobless youth. They are the ones that brought Operation Python Dance. I killed our people. Anisha Membridge, Headbridge, Ungwa High School. They, name it. Many places, these flavors are the reason our people were killed and still being killed. If not, that our gallant men are resisting them, neutralizing them, and putting a stop to the genocide in Biafra land. In Nigeria, I mean, they have been killing us, and these are fools are there. Some of you will say, oh, we don't respect elders. We don't respect elders that can't reason. Gray hair doesn't mean wiseness or mean, oh, this person needs to be respected. He's an elder. Hmm? This time around, you see the traditional rulers, you see the elders in Southeast, some of the elders in Southeast, not all of them though, some of the elders in Southeast, they are not the ones to refer to that proverb in Imbo language that said, even if you climb Birokotri, you will not be able to see it. They are the ones, you need to change it now. What youth in Southeast or what Biafrans uh, see is sitting down. Even if the elders in South East climb Birokotri or climb the tallest mountain you know, the highest mountain in the world, they will not be able to see it because they are too blind because they have sold their integrity, their self-worth and respect to the Fulanese. They no longer want anything. <laughs> Gets me angry when some of you say we don't respect them. We don't respect such elders. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. Dear from Prime Minister sent a strong message to the Flefus. Biafra land, the Southeast governors, monarchs, planning to meet over peace project. What peace project? That is what I'm asking. Biafra Prime Minister said our attention has been drawn to a planned meeting of self-acclaimed and illegitimate governors and political appointees, a monarch in Southeast. The meeting which is to plan how to heal Biafrans will never be allowed to hold in our territory. And he told them that if any of them going for this gathering he should go with his baggages and join hope was already mine abuja that is it be friends may elohim continue to guide and protect our prime minister and give him more courage to deal with these slave fools these traitors and rebellions sabotaging our freedom bless our gallant men on ground genuine be friends all over the world and always give our gallant men victory against our enemies you say thank you all don't forget to share like leave your comment at the comment section